Hey everybody, Jeffrey Powers here, geeking out with another Wirecast tutorial. This one's New Blue Titler Live Express. This is the titling program that you just saw, which can do th cool things like this cool lower third right here, um, and add to your graphics, add to your Wirecast experience, and it is free in the Live Express format. You can do a lot with that program. We're going to talk about it. I'm going to show you how to get it, how to download it, because that was, you know, I put last week I put out the first look at Wirecast 7. And I, the, one of the questions that kept coming up was, you know, this is great. How do I do this? How do I, how do I bring in this title? How, do, how, how does it work? Well, it's really straightforward. I'm going to show you how, how it all goes um, by simply uh, going in and creating one. But first of all, we've got to install the software. And of course, you've got to install uh, Wirecast 7. If you haven't gotten Wirecast 7 yet, Go get it here, geekazine.com forward slash Wirecast. Of course, they are sponsor uh, or affiliate, so it does help me when you purchase through their prices. Start at $4.99, but well worth it for the types of videos that you're going to create. If, you want, if you've already got Wirecast and like my tutorials, feel free to tip me over at paypal.me forward slash Jeff Powers. paypal.me forward slash Jeff Powers. Appreciate it much. All right, let's get into this whole thing. How do we download and install this? First of all, let's let's look at the uh, Live Express software or what you get here. So let's go over to their page, and this is the page over on Wirecast. So this is the Telestream. Uh, I'm sorry, Telestream.net. I always say Wirecast. I mean Telestream. Tyler Live. Uh, of course, it comes with Wirecast 7, as you can see. And it, you just basically get the drag and drop editor, 60 animated titles, lower thirds, and motion bugs, which means you can get these lower uh, motions and lower thirds and then adjust it, fix it, add stuff to it to make it your own, which is pretty cool. I have, I believe it's the advanced here, um, because I, I, I did some uh, beta testing for the, for the program because I used so many of the different uh, versions of it. So, but you know, you can go, uh, starts at $240, $245 and up to $945 uh, if you really need to get all those extras like CSV import, the PSD import. So you can create something in Photoshop and then import it uh, as your uh, title or lower third and stuff like that. So, but for most of you, especially if you don't have Wirecast Pro and you just got standard Wirecast, you're doing some simple videos, this is perfect. This is exactly what you need to do. So, how do you get the software? It's really straightforward. All you have to do is go to the telestream.net website, go down to the login area. This is down towards the bottom. And of course, they'll, they'll log in. They'll take you to this screen right here in which all the software that you have purchased will be here. If you, go to, if you don't have these softwares, it's still going to show up, but it's just going to say you don't have it. Um, but we go into Wirecast. We'll go right here. And then there's Wirecast, and as you can see on top, Wirecast 7.0.1. If you haven't done the update, you should do so. Uh, and, of course, you can get the Wirecast cam uh, for iOS 8 and the desktop presenter. But up here, and down here it actually says uh, free trial download restrictions, uh, where you can read a little bit more about it. But up here, this is where it is. New Blue FX Titler Live Express, which you can... It's a $99 value, so that's not too bad. So even if you didn't... If it wasn't free, you can... Get it for $99. Download for Windows, download it for Mac, and of course, download it, install it. It is a separate program. So keep in mind, if you install it, it's going to take a little bit more resource. The more layers you create, the more animations that it does, is going to take more resource. So if your computer's already pushing the edges with Wirecast, and, and Wirecast 7 has uh, tightened up their, their programming, so the, uh, so the processing uh, on the Wirecast is a lot better. But if it's still hitting some of your max numbers, uh, New Blue FX Titler Live Express might not be something you want to put on at this point. So it also means that you don't have to put it on every machine that you have Wirecast on. Because uh, if you install it on, uh, on uh, like uh, for instance, I install it on my MacBook, uh, which is a 2011, it can handle the uh, Live Express, but I might not need it. I, mean, I might just use this for something else. Don't need those lower thirds, some basic lower thirds, just fine. So I don't install that. Save my resources for that. But on the main computer, where I want to do all those really cool bits and bots and boots and everything like that, yeah, I want to put that in there. So. I have that installed. So what it will do, once it installs, um, 
it'll pop up a box and this box I don't think will pop up right away I think it's once you create your first title this is what this box pops up and of course I, I'm showing you I had to blur out all the serial numbers which I realized they were in there afterwards so and as you can see I've, I've tested a few different programs uh, I have Titler Live Broadcast and Titler Pro 4 this is for if you have a program like Sony Vegas or Adobe Premiere Pro you can create titles for that and uh, that's a separate program as you can see you can get m other programs you just go over to the new blue FX's website and get that there so but this box will pop up once you start doing titles and and to do titles all you have to do is you hit the plus button on the far right on any of the uh, any of the master layers and then you say hey titler pro live 2 it'll show it'll just pop up I, in fact it'll probably say live express for you for me it's saying titler pro live 2 so then i press that and that'll pop up this little box right here i'll show you the box move it over i think i can do that it's getting a little confused let's uh let's cancel that let's bring that over there we go now now we'll do Tyler live pro there we go and as you can see it's it's very straightforward you can choose the source you can uh title it a uh, new source you can go into Tyler pro live and go from there i'll show you uh i'll show you this the the lower third graphic that i do it's getting a little bit going on here it's uh it's getting a little confused here let's do that again oh that's because i'm pressing the wrong thing okay so it's doing this we'll hit configure it, it helps when you really press the right thing so anyway let's move on so you have this is how, this is basically what it looks like um as you can see this lower third this might be a lower third that you get with a paid version but uh, you'll have similar ones where you can do different things and if, if you hover over it it'll show you what it does um, these are some nice uh, placards and stuff like that. But then when you're ready to do something, like let's say you want this one, all you have to do is drag it into your playlist. And you can drag multiples into your playlist and configure them to, uh, to in and out and, and go from there. You put, in your, uh, you put in your credentials here. You put in an image here. If there's an image, you can go to the title designer, and then you can really uh, change this all up. And another cool thing is I can uh, take this, this. As you can see, that little plus shows up. That means I can move this so I could move this up to the top or the bottom or anything like that. But I'm going to leave it right there. Hopefully I got it in the right spot. And, uh, and go from there, and that will create your titles. And, and I've already gone through all of this on a previous, uh, previous video over, and you can get that over at youtube.com forward slash geekazine. In the playlists of Wirecast tutorials, you'll see one on the uh, new blue FX uh, Tidler Pro or Tidler Live, I believe it is. Um, and then you can see how that has not changed at all. So you can see how you can make uh, lower thirds, make titles and stuff like that. Easy peasy. Um, if you've used something like After Effects before, you can use this. It's it's pretty much on the same lines there. So, but that's basically it. And I know. And and the reason why I'm doing this video is once again, a lot of you have been asking, where, what, how do I do this? How do I get these titles so I can. I can move forward. So that's what you have to do. You have to download the software, install the software. Remember, it's going to be a little bit more extra resource, but if you've got a computer that can handle it, it's more than well worth it because you can do cool, cool lower thirds like this one. And of course, the titles and stuff like that, like this Wirecast tutorial on New Blue, Tyler Live Express. And, uh, and just kind of enhance, bubble up your, uh, your, your video and show me what you do, though, by the way. You know, let me let me know your channels and let me know how you're using Wirecast, and uh, maybe you can teach me a tip or trick that I haven't really talked about in the previous tutorials. So, anyway, thanks a lot for watching. Thanks a lot for listening. Once again, if you don't have Wirecast, you want to get Wirecast, go over to geekazine.com forward slash Wirecast. If you like this video or any of the videos I do, PayPal me over at paypal.me forward slash Jeff Powers. Thanks again, you guys. Geek out. We'll see you next time, and take care.